Now we're going to run into a problem and I'll show it to you shortly. Today I'm going to show you how to install a solid state drive in a Dell Inspiron 3470 desktop. This is a brand new desktop. Literally just bringing it out of the bag. The most obvious first step is take these two screws out on the back that hold this top slash side cover in. It's technically a side cover because the feet are down here, but it's going to be a top cover for now. As soon as you're in the computer, you have three tabs here and here and here that release the front. Three tabs that release the front panel. Remove the front panel. Set it aside. Now, you have this screw and this screw and this screw that hold this entire assembly together, but the hard drive itself is only held with the top screws. One screw here, one screw here, okay. When you remove those two screws, the hard drive will start sliding and you can remove it and the cables are there. Now, I'm going to install a solid state drive, but I want to go ahead and show you how to get this cage out too, because it can be difficult. There's a screw here that holds the cage in. So we're gonna take this screw out. There's a lever here that says push, push. Push the push lever while pulling this forward. It will stop part of the way over. And when it stops, there is a pin over here on the back. That pin over here is holding it in. You may not be able to see it. So you have to, once it stops, lift this side up to get it to come the rest of the way out. There we go. And you can see now, underneath there are the memory sticks. There's an eight gigabyte stick already in here, but you can uh, replace that. The processor is socketed, so it's actually upgradable. It's an i3 in this unit, but that's nice to know. It also looks like this is a standard TFX power supply. So despite it being a mini PC, it's actually somewhat upgradable. CPU, RAM, uh, the TFX power supply can be fixed up. It also, if you look really closely in here, um, it doesn't appear to have a spare power plug. You'll need a power splitter, but there is a spare SATA port as well. So that's how you disassemble it. Now, if you're here looking at this video, you probably just want to put a solid state drive in the computer and don't really care about getting down any further. Let's put this tray back. To get, to get this done, you need to take the existing hard drive out. Now we're gonna run into a problem and I'll show it to you shortly. Take the screws out of the hard drive Set them over here somewhere, wherever. Okay. I'm replacing the drive. You may want to rig in a solid state somewhere else, but for the purposes of this machine, we are just replacing the unit with a solid state drive. Okay, now, hard drive's out. Hard drive goes this way. Now here's that problem we're going to run into. 
we need to get this solid state drive in here, but this is not really set up to accommodate a solid state drive. And you may have some trouble getting these connectors in there as well. So here's what we'll do. You have two options. You can get a fine thread screw meant for a CD-ROM drive as opposed to the coarse thread screws you just took out. You can put it through this one hole and try to catch the drive that way. Get it lined up and screw it down. Don't do it too tight though. Gently tighten it. And the drive carriage will just go right back in. Now the drive will hang out a little bit, but there's nothing here that's in the way. You can also tape the drive down. Um, I don't necessarily recommend that. If you do it, use packing tape. Don't use scotch tape because it will come up. Packing tape is made to stick around even if stuff moves around a little bit. Scotch tape is not. Or any regular tape is just not. One screw, if it's gently tightened, will be enough to hold this drive and keep it from moving around. And that's all you're really going for. Um, you can actually stack two solid states in here, tape them together or whatever if you have to, and mount them that way. So that's how you get a solid state drive in this computer and get it to stay put. Um, you can steal the CD drive screw from any old uh, CD drive in a computer and that'll get the job done quite nicely. Put your faceplate back on, put your lid back on. If you uh, don't have spare screws, you may want to keep these screws somewhere you can find them again just to be safe and on the back put the two screws back in get a Windows 10 install CD or USB using the media creation tool on another Windows computer and install the, in this case it's a uh, home or core so install Windows 10 home or core and you're good to go have a good one.